Chris Weir is the president of the Bendigo Sustainability Group, a group that aims to foster a sustainable community for the Bendigo area in Victoria, Australia. The group has focused heavily on transforming their community with renewable power sources. Chris explores how renewable energy projects improve buildings and the lives of people who use them every day, and how communities can make use of renewable energy to create a brighter future. So the Bendigo Sustainability Group's been going since 2007. We were the winners of the Sustainable Award, and the, um, we've had a long history in community energy and solar. We're involved in a bulk buy system, over 650 homes, um, which amounted to over two megawatts. We've also been involved in a community uh, solar farm. And we really work hard, part of our, uh, part of our organization, we design, project manage and fund community owned solar um, installations. From 2015 to 2018, we did a lot of um, solar on rooftops. Uh, around Bendigo. So some of these were um, community, some were council buildings, and we were enabled to do six uh, solar PVs. That gave us a great understanding about how to do uh, solar. And we were approached by the uh, state government, S Sustainability Victoria, to be involved in a community hubs project. So we were a pilot in 2018 and 2019. Um, the um, so there was Ballarat, Bendigo and La Trobe Valley. And after two years, the program uh, completed in June um, 2019. Um, the byproduct of that was that the government decided that it was such a good program that it would roll it out across the rest of Victoria. And um, so what they did, so we were involved in doing a second round and I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, in that project, we were able to do um, some, video, uh, some solar on a uh, community stadium. And we also were really keen to make sure we did social housing. So we were able to do 10 units um, in, um, in Bendigo. And part of that was community funding. So we were able to get some community support for that. I'd like to just now run a short video that gives you a bit of an explanation um, about the community power hub and the three three different hubs that were going. Victorian communities are transitioning towards renewables and taking ownership over their own emissions. It's a pilot program, but the community power hub initiative delivered by the Gippsland Climate Change Network has been a great success in the Latrobe Valley. One of the projects implemented was the Gippie Bulk Buy Initiative. Solar panels and locally made hot water systems were purchased in the bulk buy and then offered to locals at discounted prices. The uptake and response was great. Yana has greatly benefited from the initiative. A solar feasibility study was completed and our art resource collective will undergo an energy efficient redesign. The benefits will be a dramatic improvement to the economics and the experience of the gallery for our creative community and everybody who visits. As a community, we produce the same amount of carbon as a Toyota Hilux traveling around the equator 500 times per year. That means we spend about a million dollars on electricity and about $500,000 on diesel. Over the last 18 months, the community's really come together to actually create a vision for what we want to achieve when it comes to renewable energy and really come up with strategies of how we might offset the carbon that we produce. So it's been a really positive experience seeing our community come together as we explore an innovative renewable energy project for our long-term future. We're one of the first sporting clubs to do this, but we certainly won't be the last. With the help of the Bendigo Sustainability Group, Community Power Hub, we were able to raise enough money to be able to put a solar system on our stadium roof. And that's a gift that keeps on giving. It means that we have lower prices and also lower greenhouse gas emissions. To learn more about these projects or read more about the program and its achievements, visit communitypowerhub.com.au. Um, so we were uh, involved in setting up the Community Power Hub. Um, we've got a website that you're most, uh, you're most welcome to go and check it out. 
It talks about the different projects and um, we have a series of videos and resources um, that were involved. So in uh, late 2020, um, the Victorian government wanted to expand it to seven zones across Victoria. And you notice that the Yarra uh, Valley was one of those zones. Um, our uh, Bendigo region was expanded from the city of Bendigo, which is in the center of Victoria, um, right up to uh, Mildura and down to Castle Main. So we had a very big area. The, um, we were, had a budget of over 800,000 for this project. We were one of the highest funded uh, organizations because of our previous experience. That enabled us to engage um, uh, project managers and community engagement officers and enable us to look at a wide range of projects. At the same time, we had a charter to promote and activate community owned renewable energy for community benefit across the zone. So that gives you some idea of the space that we had. We ended up engaging a full-time project manager and each in the areas we engaged, uh, I think it was four part-time people who were involved in going to the community, looking at different opportunities for solar on the roof and engaging with the community to uh, undertake a project. Um, this gives you a bit of an idea. So over that 12 month period, it was a very short period. We really had to get our skates on to get it done. We undertook 18 projects for um, seven, nearly 800 kilowatts of, and you'll notice a lot of them are um, community houses, um, low income houses, um, uh, community sporting facilities, um, and two very large um, chicken farms. And the way we did this um, is that we, one, we had the funds, but we also went to the community where we got people to fundraise by buying a panel. So we'd work out that a place might need 10 panels and therefore we encourage the, uh, the community. And so we had a lot of take up of that and we'd run around with our camera and take a photo of the group who would contribute funds of three to $600 to enables us to put the solar on the roof. And that, that, that this funding model turned out to be very successful. So as opposed to asking people and getting $10, we found by asking to um, donate a panel to the tune of either $300, $350, $400 enabled us to get a very fast take up and get these projects fully funded. Um, so out of the, uh, out of the um, second round of the Community Power Hub, we've had funds, we got um, a payback from the two chicken farms that we did, and we've now set up a revolving energy fund. So we're already committed to four projects and we're undertaking um, some social housing um, uh, solar for that. And the customers will pay back under a power purchase agreement, which means that we can invest in future projects. Um, we've um, just received yesterday um, advice that we picked up another um, $187,000 for more community funding. Um, which we've got to complete within the next 12 months. Part of our program is that we are constantly monitoring um, all of the sites um, and we're able to detect on behalf of the community if there's a problem and that we can then ring the uh, installer and get them to go out and check it. And, and, uh, and we're also keen to get some idea of what, um, what community energy, how much energy it generates. So as we expand our portfolio of sites, we'll be able to talk about what our current um, 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 opportunities that are taking place with the solar generation. The other thing I might talk about very briefly as part of this project, we were, very, we were involved very early in the establishment of an actual microgrid at a stupa Buddhist retreat. Um, they have somewhere between 50 and 100 people who reside on site. But more importantly, uh, they have weekends and week uh, seminars where they have people come along and it's a tremendous uh, cost to be able to service it. So um, they have in fact installed a container battery and um, they've installed a container battery and a small solar farm and using rooftop solar to uh, put energy into the batteries and that that then services the, the main stupa 
um, building and also the other um, facilities around the stupa site. Um, so just an outcome, um, we've received over a million dollars in grants. Um, the government undertook a study and found that it got a 13 to one return on the investment. So it was seen as a good investment by the government. Um, we completed over 28 rooftop solar projects. Um, the more important thing is we've developed quite a, a level of experience, expertise and knowledge within the organisation that we're now also starting to hand down and involve the younger generation as they come through. And we certainly expanded and enhanced the community awareness of what's going on. One of the really important things I'd like to talk about is that what we try and do is run ninja team. So rather than getting a lot of people in the room to try and do the project, I've set up what we call a ninja team. So there's basically a project manager that may be involved in a number of um, different projects, a technical, a finance and engagement. So what we've been able to do is start small and build. Um, and there are some links there um, for anybody who wants further information. So yes, thank you very much.